What are you bringing for us? Dukh, dard or samay? Kuch nahi. And maybe it's not even, uh, it's, I'm talking about the very near term. I mean, January. So let me actually go across to the big wall uh, and explain uh, what this is. So it's just something which happens in January. We don't know why it happens, uh, but uh, it happens. And that's why we call it seasonality, right? Uh, so this is essentially the, the big number uh, that I want to uh, point out. 12 out of 16 years, uh, you know, I'm, I'm talking, looking at the mid-cap index, the NSE mid-cap index is a 100 stock index. It's got lots of portfolio stocks. You can just go back. Uh, it's got lots of portfolio stocks, etc. In 12 out of the 16 years, the NSE mid-cap index has actually is given negative returns. Uh, right? The average negative return in January in the last 16 years is 2.2%. Uh, so, and let's just go to the timeline, and I, I think it'll, it speaks for itself. Look at that. I mean, you've got four positive years. I'm just ignoring this uh, 2021, but 2020, 17, 15, and 12. Otherwise, it's all been negative. As I said, well, no one knows why, but it's, that's the way it is, and that's why we are saying, seasonally speaking, it's not a really great month. Uh, now, so w what are these four positive months? Can we have a positive month in 2024? Of course, it's possible. But if you just look at the four instances out of the 16 where we got positive returns, let me just quickly tell you, in 2012, uh, we got positive return in January, but in 2000, and, but 2011 ended with a 17% cut in November and December. So you were coming off extremely weak markets. 2015, if you remember, the prior five months, uh, you know, basically we got less than 15% despite that very strong election outcome, right? The previous year, 2017 January was positive, but 2016 ended with a 10% demonetization led sell off. Uh, which uh, came later in the year. And 2020, markets were coming out of that NBFC crisis. Uh, so this is the backdrop that we're talking about for the positive years, right? The outliers in that sense. Uh, 2012 was the only double-digit return January that we saw, uh, but 2011 had ended with a 25% fall for the uh, market. So, and then we got the double-digit return uh, in uh, 2012. What are we starting 2024 with, right? The scale of victory or gains, whatever you want to call it, 7% gain in December, 18% return in the last two months, 46% return in 2023, and 57% gain in nine months from the low, low of March, which the low was made on the 31st of March, and then the market has not looked back since. So I'd like, just like to say, I mean, this is only important if you're trading, if you're chasing momentum, if you're buying higher in the hope of selling even higher. So then this becomes important. You've got to be mindful of these things. If you're investing, maybe the market just looks through some of this stuff, right? Uh, it, it, the, the bigger drivers really at play are the pr pretty decent macroeconomic fundamentals, uh, which stand out, especially in a world that we are in right now. Strong expectations of low, lower global interest rates, uh, which I think is going to be a big theme which will play out. And of course, reduced election risk after BJP's strong performance in recent state elections. So I think there's enough sort of positive stuff in the bag as well uh, that the market may just sustain and look through the seasonality. But I thought, you know, important to put what's really uh, right in front of us as we come back next Monday, which is January, and the seasonality associated with it. Hiran, I don't know if you have any thoughts, if you do. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.